Hiya, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my name is Hini, I am a spiritual astrologer. You can find my details below if you'd like a reading or just to inquire. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would really support and help me. So I hope you have a nice beverage. Uh, you can't really see this. I've got my coffee. <laughs> mm because I'm very excited to do this one, this next episode of our Ascendant or Rising Sign series. And we are on to Scorpio. So yes, this is a series just for the Rising or the Ascendant sign, not the Sun sign. So if you're a Scorpio Sun, some of this might relate to you, but it's not really for you if you're not a Scorpio Rising. So keep that in mind. Get in touch with me if you don't know how to find out your rising or ascendant sign. So let's get into it. And I'm sure um, with this one, with Scorpio rising, I'm sure um, if I check back this series in like four, five, six months from now, this one's going to be the most popular. I'm like 99.99% certain because people are obsessed whether they are Scorpio or not, whether they have Scorpio placements or not, people are obsessed with Scorpio energy. So Scorpio ascendant, Scorpio rising. Why is that? Well, I think it's because you are like the black fairy. You enchant people. People are obsessed. People are repelled. And you are the bearer of truth. And when I use this word fairy, I don't mean like Victorian little cute winged Tinkerbells. I mean like the Fae or the good people, but I won't talk too much about that here. You can look that up yourself, but you are a sort of uncomfortable bearer of the truth a lot of the time. That can be literal. Sometimes you literally embody that somehow, perhaps when you're older through your profession, your career, but more likely it is through simply your aura, you as a person, who you are, there's some sort of way in which you uncomfortably bear the truth for others and also for yourself. And for a long time, I've said this about Scorpio rising, and I'm going to repeat it here. You know, Scorpio risings have Libra in the 12th house. And this is about knowing when it's wrong to be right and when it's right to be wrong. And within that, we know that tact is uh, your friend here. <laughs> tact is crucial. And, and so is controlling how you deal with how you feel, Scorpio Rising. A great gift of yours is feeling and seeing reality and having little to no fear to confront and to make apparent this reality, especially if you have more expressive placements in your chart, maybe you've got a lot of Sagittarius as well, there's going to be little to no fear to, you know, announce and pronounce that truth, that vision, that awareness of the reality. And there is this unstoppable resourcefulness about you as well and a superb ability to track down whoever or whatever you want. As a Scorpio rising, your presence in people's lives is often a regenerative one to help them wade through pain and to unearth their unconscious strengths. With Aquarius in the fifth house, Scorpio rising, when you embrace your weirdness and you run with your far-fetched creativity, you will encounter lots of pleasure and self-fulfillment. And yes, your element is water, but it's also ice. And it is best, I think, for you to be in as pure a space as possible and to rid your space and relationships of any parasitic vibes. So I think the spaces that you 
would do best in are they're kind of still or serene they are secure somehow and, and sometimes for some people they are dark or in dimly lit places you know scorpio rising can be quite like bats or vampire spirits you know they can have these sorts of room <laughs> or home um or i don't know the town the countryside that they live in is somehow dim the country they live in is somehow dim or dimly lit dark and that's probably where a lot of you feel most at home. Mars is your best friend as a Scorpio rising, even though it doesn't always feel like it. More than any other rising sign, except perhaps for Aries rising, you, um, Scorpio rising, benefit from tracking Mars and understanding how Mars affects the rhythms of your spiritual experience. So pay attention to which sign Mars is transiting. And remember also that Mars represents things like strife and tearing things apart. And that as a malefic planet, traditionally, Mars is often pushing you to contend with things uh, and, you know, to push up and out of your fixations, to push up and out of things like fears as well, because we do remain quite often fixed in our fears. So this is a big part of your being and your journey, Scorpio Rising, whether that's your own personal fears or you focus more on helping others with their fears. Um, Mars also deals with a lot of things, but some of them are, for example, rashness and impulse. And Mars, of course, is also about action. So please take care when things like anger are bubbling up because Scorpio energy, Mars ruled Scorpio, Mars led Scorpio is like bubbling water, something see seeming, seeming, seething, <laughs> simmering as well. And, and take care. Because Mars led Scorpio rising can be one of um, the most ruthless spirits as well. Uh, however, you know, I think you're one of the most capable of sourcing very treasured people and things, capable of conjuring up the most um, difficult of truths so as to grasp. And, and to deal with them. Mars also grasps, it snatches, it steals. And as a magnetic spirit, temptation abounds for you and things can get messy very easily and very quickly. Mars is also associated with uh, sexual impulse. So remember here that the moon, let's talk a little bit about the moon. The moon actually falls in Scorpio traditionally. And in this, we can see that you may often need to keep your wild desires and your wiles in check and to be more strategic, more down to earth, more realistic and to keep common sense. Taurus opposes you, Taurus, Scorpio, that um, opposition there, to keep common sense close by as well. Otherwise, um, hurting others and sabotaging yourself won't be difficult at all. And be very, very careful, you know, uh, Sherry Pie from RuPaul's Drag Race, Scorpio Sun. Be very careful <laughs> um, about getting some weird uh, ideas about how to uh, manipulate or strategize because Scorpio energy is also fixed energy. So once you get hold of an idea, it can be very hard for you to get away from it until you've gone all the way through it and you've burst through it and you've gone to the very end of it. But sometimes with some ideas, that's really not a good idea. Um, if you know the story, you know. Um, but anyway, be careful, yes, about hurting others and also sabotaging yourself because it won't be too difficult when you are sort of letting Mars take you uh, a bit too much. And also knowing, knowing that that which tempts you may be a trap, that can help you a lot. So if you stop looking at things, some of you need to stop looking at things, at everything as like prey or something to control, but to realize that some things you are led to are actually a trap. And this is generally something that we see a lot with Scorpio, Pisces, heavy people, cancer, heavy people, the, 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 the way uh, the water <laughs> uh, makes you feel can actually be a trap.
the desires, the, the feelings can trick you. Anyway, as a Scorpio rising or Scorpio ascendant, you do, yes, have a Taurus descendant, uh, or your second rising sign is Taurus. You may therefore attract partners who are sweet and agreeable. Venus ruled Taurus. They are sort of steady somehow and no nonsense as well. They can be seemingly too relaxed for you. Like a spider Scorpio rising, you have likely always been able to detect vibrations and to know whether to stay or to flee. And people actually may be scared of you and your energy, but really they are kind of being stirred by something insecure about themselves. Also Scorpio rising, with Capricorn in the third house, you may have to be um, cautious of your caution. So be, don't be, don't be too careful about how you communicate and relate. And because you know, this can cause relationships to suffer if you don't find ways, Scorpio rising, to be both careful, yes, but also to share your personal feelings. Because without these outlets, without this unlocking, we don't really get to address traumas. We don't really get to face fears. And a big part of this addressing and this facing is, yes, talking to people and opening up to people. So for some Scorpio Risings, this is a big issue. So try to find the ways to uh, break through that. Uh, yes, you may need to gestate within your relationships before you really trust and, uh, and can start to unravel for others. Also, if you are ever in doubt about a big decision or you need some spiritual guidance, turn to your dreams, Scorpio rising, especially if it relates to a decision. Also with Aries in the sixth house for you, look out for things like STIs, for those of you having sex, and, and be sure to find out how and when you throw yourself off metaphorical cliffs as well, that can be very Aries in the sixth house thing. And try to learn how to pull back, to take breathers and to check for dangers. Because another thing about Mars and Scorpio or Scorpio on its own is that there can be this surety of the risk having been assessed. But the universe is always throwing different things uh, to us, especially once we've leveled up in one way. <laughs> the next level is going to be harder, but sometimes it comes dressed differently and we think it's going to be easy, but it's not. So <laughs> be careful of those things you might throw yourself into. Finally, Scorpio rising, when you surrender, yes, surrender is a big, sometimes difficult word for Scorpio, but when you surrender to the unknown, but also have your highest explorative senses and your fierce fighting instinct, you will both be able to uncover beautiful treasures in life and to protect yourself from those who seek to exploit and smudge you because people always want to smudge Scorpio rising, especially when they feel slighted by Scorpio rising. I'm talking to those who uh, obsess over a Scorpio rising. They go on one date and then Scorpio rising is like, mm, yeah, I'm not really into this person, but the other person's like, oh, let me now sabotage and smudge and be really bitter and, and icky about it because they're still obsessed. Um, anyway, <laughs> you will learn <laughs> through this uh, kind of being more open to certain surrender. You will learn new spells. Yes, Black Fairy, you're going to learn some new spells and you will be a curse to the unsuspecting fool and you won't even be intending to be but that's what happens that's part of life that's part of the way spirit is anyway i hope you enjoyed this scorpio rising leave me a comment if you are a scorpio rising or ascendant or you know a scorpio rising and ascendant and you have some interesting story or experience i'd love to hear from you stay safe and well and see you in the next one bye